One of the goals that we see a lot with our clients is one to buy a new home. Um, be that first home, um, moving up the property ladder, your dream home, or even a holiday home um, abroad or in the UK. Um, and this is a fantastic goal to have. Um, and obviously achieving it is amazing. Um, so definitely celebrate those goals uh, and the little wins as you go along to it. Um, however, we know it can be quite stressful, um, especially getting the mortgage. Um, once you're employed, it's quite straightforward. Um, you just borrow a multiple of your salary. You just need to prove your salary, job done. All right, maybe a few other bits, but generally job done. As a business owner, it's not quite that simple um, because your salary is quite small because it's obviously tax efficient. So how does it all work as a business owner? Um, and what does that mean for you when it comes to buying your house? This blog and video explores more about how you can get a mortgage and reach your goal of buying a home as a business owner. Process to, compared to being employed. However, it can be just as straightforward as long as you are prepared. Um, and I also need to throw in a disclaimer, we're not mortgage brokers. We can't give mortgage advice um, or specific lenders. However, we are just giving here general advice on how we can help as accountants um, and how we see it from our point of view. Um, right, so let's kick off. <laughs> to start with, but probably years, we're trying to get you into the mindset that you're not self-employed, you are employed. You're an employee of your limited company. And that's how it is for tax purposes and many other things. However, for mortgages, just to confuse you, you're treated as self-employed. Um, and yes, there are complexities, as I said, but they don't need to be stressful complexities. It's just a different way of doing it. So to start with, I would always recommend telling your accountant about your goal to buy a house um, as soon as possible. The, and I'm gonna say, trust me, if we're not your accountants, whoever your accountants is, we will all really, really thank you for it in advance. Because once we know that's one of your goals, we can help you get there. Um, and you're probably wondering why an accountant can help you get there mortgage broker does the mortgage and yes they do but as accountants we can help you take the steps leading up to when you actually want to get that mortgage um, and help you to get be ready for it so for example every year with our clients when we first take a client on and every year we'll go through a review process and we'll ask what your goals are what you're planning to do over this um, year over the next three years over the next five years and you may think why what's that got to do with anything but it's so that we can know about these things like buying a home um, and we can help you to get ready so once we know that your goal is to buy a property um, be that your dream home or as I said before any part of the ladder then we can help you get your accounts ready and help you to get where you need to be to reach that goal so we then say to you right you know this is what you want to do. Do you know what kind of property you're looking to get? Do you know how much you need to borrow? Do you need to know what your deposit is? So we'd probably recommend at that point, if you haven't already got all of this together, is speaking to a mortgage broker and they can help you to understand um, what your profit goal is. So what your income goal needs to be to be able to get the mortgage. So you know what your multiplier is for the mortgage purposes and also what type, what amount of deposit you're going to need to put down on the property. And it could be if you're moving up the ladder, um, that you've already got some equity in your current property, which will act as a deposit and so forth. But you will also need extra funds for things like stamp duty, legal fees, uh, removal men, all the things you do. And I'm sure as well, there'll be new furniture that needs to buy, especially if you're upsizing or an additional property, you're gonna need more furniture and things like that. So take all of that into consideration. Once you know those figures, so how much cash you're physically gonna need to do it all, and then how much profit or income you're going to need, then we can start working with you. 
And I'm just going to throw in here as well that different lenders look at mortgage, look at you for mortgage purposes in different ways. Some will look at the net profit in your business and how much of that is attributed to you as the owner. And other lenders will look at your salary plus dividends as your total income. So you need to know another reason for speaking to mortgage brokers. You need to know which which lender you're going to look to use as to which basis you're going to need so that we can get your accounts and your personal finances in order to meet the criteria. So once we've got all of that, we can then start looking at a budget for you. And what we can do there is we'll know what the end goal is. Um, and we know, right, so you need to have this amount of either profit or take home, and that'd be the starting point. And we can then build on that to work back to look at your expense budgets and some sales targets. So we can then work out what you need to be selling, what your turnover needs to be, then what your expenses are budgeted to be to give you that profit that you need. Um, and also, if you're going to be saving up, we can look at how you can extract the money to save for your deposit and all the other bits that you're going to need um, and that you've also got enough money to live on. And we know this isn't going to happen overnight, so we can plan for it accordingly. So say we can say, right, well, for year one, we want to be at this point, year two, we want to be at this point, and then year three, potentially, when you want to buy, that's where we need to be at. So that's how we can help initially. We can prepare that budget, get you some goals so you know where you're going and you can actually then physically see come year two, three, you're going to have the required income um, or profit for you to be able to get that mortgage. Um, it could be a case that the lender will need um, a year's worth of accounts or tax returns or they may need two years. So can, depending on which lender you're using, which way you're going, again, we'll need to factor that in. So we know that if you need two years, that's showing an average of a certain profit, then maybe we need to get you to that point ahead of time so you've got the two years stable income so you can average out of what you need to be. So there's all that to take into consideration and that's the first step of how we can help you get to there and actually plan that out with you. Oh, we can also then, as I said before, depending on which lender you use, um, depends on which basis you're going to use. So we can make sure that your your tax, um, sorry, not your tax, your salary and dividend mix is correct so that you'll get taking home enough money to be able to show that on your tax return to then be able to get the mortgage. So it could be that you may need to increase your dividends for a couple of years to get those two years tax returns. So you may, sorry, need to pay more tax. But hey, you're going to be getting your home. So it's a bit of a which one do you want? Pay less tax or get your home? So, but it's all stuff there. We can plan for it and we're going to plan properly for it. So you're going to know in advance, you're going to cater for the extra tax bills and you're going to know what you're going to do. So that's how we can help you. Um, also, if there's a small turnaround, so say your year end is the 31st of March, um, and obviously that ties in with the end of tax year, and you want to start looking at houses in April, or even in March, potentially to find the property you want in April, that means we need to get your tax return done and your accounts done pretty quickly after year end. So if we know that's what you want to do, we can make sure and plan our work for it so we can say to you, come beginning of March, right, if we're going to get them done straight after year end, this is what we're going to need. So you can start getting everything together for us. And then we know come year end, we need to turn it around, get everything done and turn it around really quickly for you and get it all done. And we can then plan our workload around that and make sure that we can do our bit as quickly as possible after year end because you've given us everything we need. So that's a much easier way and less stressful for you because if we're all planning for it, then we know that it's not gonna be a headache and we're not gonna be rushing around and panicking because we haven't got this and we can't do your accounts because we haven't got that. We're planning for it. So that's why telling us is just gonna create you so much less stress and it'd just be a lot plain, plainer sailing than if you don't tell us and then suddenly come to us mid-April and say, or even beginning of April and say, yeah, I know my year's just ended. Yeah, we're going to buy a house. We found the one that we want. This is what we need. And this is what we need our accounts and tax returns to show. And we'll be like, 
haven't got that. We need this, this, this and this. Come on, let's hurry up. And then it's just going to be a lot of stress for both of us. So the sooner we know, the better. The sooner we can help you plan, prepare, get everything in order. And the sooner we can get your tax returns and everything done so that you can go off and apply for your mortgage and secure that property that you want. The last thing we want to do is hold up you actually being able to get that property because we didn't know about it and therefore we can't get your stuff done quickly enough for you. Um, so yeah, that's how we can help. That's how you get a mortgage as a business owner. Um, please do take the time to read through our blog. It's got more information about what lenders use, which basis, which is all correct at time of publishing based on our understanding from our fantastic mortgage man has given me the information. But again, it's only correct as of publishing today, which is the end of July, 2021. Um, but we've got a fantastic mortgage man. So if you do need a recommendation, let us know, we can pop you in touch. Um, and of course, if you need any help, get in there, um, planning, um, getting your accounts done on time, ready so that you can go and get your dream home, then please do get in touch. Um, we'd love to help you get to your goal of owning your dream home or whatever stage at home it is that you're buying. Um, we just really wanna help you get there. So please do get in touch, pop over to our website, complete our quick questionnaire and book a discovery call with us today. I hope to speak to you soon.